Yeah, it's an outstanding result, actually. Uh, positive on a number of fronts. Obviously, four home games is fantastic. Uh, playing at home in the opening round is also you know, great just for the, uh, the team to play at home in front of their home crowd. Uh, and then playing at the suburban grounds here in Adelaide, I think, also helps us meet our objective of helping to grow the game. Uh, we've started that from the outset. We wanted to play our role in growing the game here in, in South Australia, so that's, that's great for us. And, uh, and obviously, having a game up in Darwin. You know, AFL NT are an important partner. Uh, of the football club and being able to play a game up there as well as a trial game is also really important and positive. What's been the response from the players so far? I couldn't be happier. They've, uh, I was actually speaking to Beck Goddard, uh, our coach this morning. Uh, they're, they're ripping in at training. Uh, they're responding really well. If anything, uh, one of her goals is to try and hold them back. Um, they said they're, they're super keen and eager and I think she's feeling pretty good about the season. You wouldn't classify it as an easy draw though, a couple of trips to Melbourne up to Darwin and then games here and of course game in Fremantle? No, I don't think we ever talk about draws as easy or, or hard or anything in between. I think we can, uh, particularly in the inaugural year of a, of a season, I think one of the, the big question marks is just how all the, the teams are going to land. Uh, we've got no, no real baseline you know, here. Uh, this, this, is a, this is a unique and historic moment for the sport. Um, obviously we're wrapped to be a part of it. Uh, we think that we've got a, you know, a great squad. We think they've been training hard. We've got uh, great support staff. Um, we're pretty you know, confident they'll be competitive. And but you know, I don't think uh, I don't think we can label uh, a draw hard or easy at this stage. You touched on it a moment ago. The, the home opener against GWS. You must be pretty excited as a club to have the home opener, not have the girls play in Melbourne or Freo or somewhere else for that first game, but be here with the home fans and all that kind of thing. Yeah, it's really important, uh, particularly just given the. Uh, the excitement and the hype that's existed you know, right from the moment that Gil McLaughlin announced the establishment of the, the league and obviously since we were awarded a licence, um, the, the excitement's been um, quite overwhelming and uh, the interest has been uh, enormous and, and probably exceeded expectations which were already quite high. Uh, so um, to actually be able to you know, uh, have the team run out for the first time you know, in our colours at home you know, is really important for us. and. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a bonus. Do you have a bit of a wish list ahead of the uh, draw coming out, and, and were those wishes granted? Did you? Uh, look, we we did, mate, uh, but it's not it's not well. We did, but it's a bit of a different situation to, to obviously the longer competition uh, within the AFL. Uh, what was important, you know, for us was that we were able to play a game in in the Northern Territory, um, given our partnership uh, you know, with AFL NT, and obviously we've got nine of the squad that that come from there. Um, we wanted to ensure that we were able to take the game to suburban grounds where, where we could play said our part in growing the sport. Um, we liked the idea of playing at home first up, but I'm pretty certain that each of the teams had that on their wish list. So look, pretty much all the things that we asked for were, were ticked off and um, said, you know, the reason for us being really happy about it. Why Flemington Oval and not uh, Pooh Park? Uh, just in terms of the demands um, on the facility. So. Uh, look, I think Pepperton provides all the facilities that, that we require. Um, um, it'll, yeah, it'll do a good job for us. Could it be advantageous playing at a smaller oval, at least in this first period when we're not really sure what the crowd numbers could be like? Could it be good to play at a smaller oval where you can really pack it out and um, take advantage of that home ground uh, experience, I suppose? Yeah, I think we've, we've seen that uh, most recently in the, in the All-Stars you know, a game. Uh, I think you know, being able to obviously create atmosphere is, is important. Um, uh, the girls will do their job you know, on field, and I think the smaller grounds will, you know, will ensure that the, the spectators and fans can do their job you know, off field. Um, so, look, it's, I think it, it helps to provide that community you know, feel to it. Obviously, there's free entry into these games, um, and look, if the uh, if attendance reflects the the hype and excitement that we felt over the last several months, then I expect some healthy attendances. Is there anything around the games that's been beforehand or? Uh, well, I'm sure we'll chat to you, um, do all sorts of exciting things. Now, look, they're, at the moment, they're, they're obviously standalone fixtures um, as they currently stand, but you know, we'll work on what the, now we've got the, the schedule settled, we'll work on what the you know, the game by game programs look like. Just on another issue, Patrick Dangerfield spoke about the potential of the players' strike. Is that something that uh, you're worried about at all or have put any thought into? Um, no, look. Obviously, those negotiations are, are somewhat complex, and uh, I think in in these sorts of circumstances, you uh, uh, 
you know, everyone's going to going to have their say and their view. But the AFL are, you know, are leading those negotiations. I'm confident that you know they and the the PA will will find an acceptable ground and a fair outcome for all parties. Does it affect your business the fact that there's a bit of a standoff? That it's it uh, doesn't affect our business at all. As it currently sits, we've got our players training hard. They're really focused on the 2017 season. Uh, you know, their schedule's really clear around their upcoming games, and every day, every training session is critically important. And I don't think we've got a single player who's, who's focused on anything other than the Adelaide Crows' um, success in the 2017 season. Uh, when we spoke to Beck last week, she mentioned that. Fremantle, she thought, would be one of the teams to beat. Um, to have to face them at home, uh, I get the impression from the Crows group that they'll embrace that, look forward to, if they are the benchmark, that they want to play them and um, can mm. do well. Yeah, look, I think so. There's there's a um, tremendous, tremendous uh, base of talent in Western Australia. Uh, so I think the expectations that Fremantle you know, will be a strong team. Uh, but look, I know that Beck's embracing and the, and the playing group is embracing. I think the the overall challenge, and I think Fremantle will you know will be a little subset within that. Uh, I think maybe the the ability to actually get on the road as a as a group as well um, to play them over there, you know, that we can look to use that to our advantage. But look, every it's going to be there'll be a lot of variables in this this first year. Um, so we don't really know how teams will. We'll, we'll stack up. They've obviously it's a, it's a race to form combinations, um, but it's uh, that led to the intrigue and the excitement. I think you know, throughout the, the course of the season.